video today I'm going to show you how to use a simple white crusty bread mix to make some French baked items. We will use the dough to make two demi baguette rolls, some putty pan lunch rolls and some twisted dinner rolls too. Let's begin. You will need your bread mix and 325 mils of warm water, not cold water or boiling water, it has to be just warm. And this is because we need the yeast granules in the floury mix to activate and not be killed off. We we'll also need two baking trays, baking paper and a kitchen knife. Are your hands washed? Have you got an apron on? Well, let's get going. Empty a pack of flour and yeast into a bowl. Make a well in the centre and add the warm water. Use your knife to gradually mix this water and flour together. When it's sufficiently combined, then you can move it onto a board and begin the kneading process. It will take about five minutes because what you want to do is have it all nice and smooth. And you can be quite heavy handed with it, but you want the final result to be smooth. Side. Oh, this is the smoothness that I'd like you to achieve. I've already cut this into the four sections with two of them also being cut into four again. So these two here will be for the demi baguettes and you've got the putty pan rolls and the uh, soft twisted rolls. So if I try and show you what I want for the baguettes, two hands here, just simply roll it and you can stretch it. It's quite pliable so elastic. And then you would make it a little bit longer oops, and put it on the tray. Now with the demi, the putty pan, sorry, the putty pan, just uh, squeeze and smooth and roll and then you would do a better job than I and then that would go on a separate tray because you would have made the other larger roll of dough into your demi baguette. The same here with the others, I'll leave that and move on to showing you how to make a soft twisted roll. So just simply roll it and make it as thin as you can. Stretch it, roll it. I don't find it too difficult to, to um, actually twist it. So I'm going to take the ends and pull it through. Hey presto, the best I can do. Now, when you've got all those rolls um, made up and on your tray, The next thing would be to leave them to prove. So these are some that I made up earlier. I've probably left them a little bit too long, but it hasn't done any harm, has it? Because look at the size, double in size. So I think they've been sitting in the kitchen here for about, ooh, perhaps 60 minutes now. You don't want them to overdo, but certainly what you can see is that they have risen in size. Before I uh, left them to prove, I actually cut some little slits in the top of the demi baguettes. I did with the petit pan too, but they've risen so much they've disappeared. If you find that the twisting those rolls and tying them in knot is too tricky, just make a design up of your own. So once they have risen to double in size, then you put them in the oven at gas, um, sorry, not gas mock, um, the temperature would be, depending on what sort of oven you have, so you might have a gas oven, uh, you might have an um, electric oven, so please just check the instructions on your bread mix. And they go in the oven, as I said, for about 15-20 minutes, and then this is 
some here. I'm trying to bring across, show you, and here we are. Look at that. All those rolls from just one bread mix. Amazing, I think. And you'll love doing this. Making bread is very therapeutic. So enjoy and don't be afraid to be um, hard on that bread dough when you're kneading it.